medical examiner's office has uh, completed the first phase of the uh, autopsy and by visual examination, uh, fingerprints with the county police department, uh, dental comparison with the dental records, we've made the decision that this is Timothy Hill. Hill was reported missing two weeks ago. Fiegel said that was consistent with the condition of the body, which he said had been in the river for many, many days. He said the boy had most likely been killed first and then put in the water. The cause of death, he said, was asphyxiation. Hill's body, clad only in underwear, was found late yesterday afternoon by two boaters on the Chattahoochee. It was brought to the medical examiner's office, where crime lab experts worked until after midnight, trying to recover any evidence it might contain. This morning, the medical examiner's office took over. Dr. Fiegel and his staff began the actual autopsy about 8 this morning. They used full-length x-rays, fingerprints taken from the textbooks of Joseph Bell and Timothy Hill, and dental x-rays, Hills supplied by the GBI and Bells by the task force. And in the end, it was the dental records, as Fiegel put it, which clinched the identification. After a five-hour autopsy, Joseph Bell's parents were told their son was still missing. Timothy Hills were told theirs had been found. Fiegel says the Hill case is not unusual. He is very reminiscent of some others that are asphyxial deaths without marks. And um, this could well, because of the location, could be another off the bridge type. At first, officials said there was no new evidence revealed by today's autopsy. Later, Dr. Fiegel told me the state crime lab had removed some hairs from Hill's body, though he would not say what kind. At the Fulton County Medical Examiner's Office, Hank Phillippe, Action News.